Hey guys, welcome back. So let's start building up the transitional hairs, uh, the transitional hair cards for the row A. And for that purpose, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide uh, all of these other hair cards and just work on A001 for this one. Uh, so the basic plan for what we are going to do for the transitional hairs is it's like uh, this is our hair card over here. Oops, let me get my tablet ready here. Yep. Uh, so this is our main hair card, uh, which we have named uh, as uh, main over here. And uh, let me select a different color. Yeah, so this is our main hair card. And uh, like when we see this from the from a bottom pers perspective, it's like uh, so this is our hair card and we're going to add new uh, transitional hair cards like these so that it gives uh, the sense of volume that we need for the hair cards and these are like uh, uh, either put on the shape shape like if this is our main hair card and this these are like put in shape x or v or like maybe slanted like these so this is our main uh, uh, our main goal to how we build the transitional hair card. Sometimes, like we even do, uh, like these, and like uh, place the hair card at the top. And like what this does is it creates a very good uh, sense of a curvy kind of feel for the volume of the hair. So this is the basic process that we're going here right now. So uh, what we do here is uh, we select the uh, main hair card, uh, we duplicate that hair card and move it slight a little bit to the side. And uh, so we're going to select the face uh, on the UV or even on the uh, viewport, it doesn't matter. So And we're going to delete the half of it. And then uh, we go to the UV mode and we now actually make the use of uh, these other uh, much thinner hair strands that we have in the texture and like these are just for the uh, sake of building up the transitional hair cards so we can like fit the UVs perfectly as much as we can and what we're gonna do here is we're going to move the UV move the vertices and try to make the sense of volume with proper X or V or slanted hair guard, something like this. I hope you're getting the idea here what we're trying to do. It's like we usually uh, we usually uh, make the rotations for the vertices like around. Uh, 30 or 15 degrees or sometimes even 45 degrees like depending on the situation that we have all we're trying to do is make the volume and we definitely want to see it from all the pers from all the camera angles And uh, I'm going to name this, uh, like you can name it anything you want, but for this one, I'm going to name it uh, H for here and 1 for here 1. Like just, you can name it as, as you like, but just make sure that you're keeping it organized. Just control D again. And now I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to delete the other half of this hair card. And also move the UVs. And there's no like specific number of hair cards. And there's no specific number of hair cards that we want here, but uh, 
uh, it's we I, I usually did uh, like five or six hair cards for each row I mean for each uh, of these hair chunks like a001 has uh, six uh, transitional hair cards and a002 has six and like you got the idea Creating the transitional hair cards is a very important process and I want you to understand that it's a time consuming process, it's a laborious process and uh, as I believe there's no such uh, shortcuts here so it's uh, we have to deal with this on our own in manual way. Gonna, gonna name this again. Let's do to main. Gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna delete the half of it. And I'll be moving the UVs. And scale to add this. Like you can already see or feel uh, the way how the hairs, uh, the hair strands are playing at the bottom part. So we want a similar kind of effect on all the areas here. And it's very important that we constantly keep checking the thickness of the hair strands because uh, sometimes what happens is uh, when we keep working on them, we don't realize, but the uh, our target here is to create the uh, human hair, but since the thickness gets too too thicker or too broader, that <clears throat> it starts appearing like animal hairs. So we we, we don't want that. Gonna name this again. Gonna duplicate this one more time. That's four. Select a different texture for the hair. Oh, so yeah, make sure that you're deleting, deleting the faces on the perspective mode, not on the uh, UV mode. We're going to rotate these. Gonna move them a slight bit. So, as you can see, I'm also trying to create this uh, volume for the hair on the back side of the main hair part. I just uh, want the hair cards to be spread it out at the bottom. Uh, 
I want to make sure that uh, from this angle the hair doesn't look too much weird so I want to keep checking on that as well and you can press F8 on your keyboard in Maya to go to the uh, component mode like vertex mode or face mode it's really useful like when we have to select uh, all the vertices for the whole of these hair cards like we're gonna uh, select all the hair cards here and when we press F8 now we're on the vertex mode and we can move the whole chunk it's really useful gonna make a duplicate again that's five and going for the face mode gonna delete the other half so this is just the basic process that I'm showing you here but you can like I'm doing this uh, in a very faster manner right now but you can take your time and make it look much more beautiful but you got the idea like how I did for my character oops then what we can do is just move these hair cars up again You can press 5 on your keyboard to see like how these hair cards are laying and we might probably need some more uh, hair cards slanting over at this side and try to make uh, try to make the X and V kind of shapes as much as possible press 6 on the keyboard to get back to the texture texture mode So we're gonna make a duplicate one more time. That's six this would be. To face mode. Gonna delete the other half. And as user process, I will switch the UVs. How about I try to use this strangler one over here? vertex mode you can already start seeing that this uh, specific chunk of hair guards that we have starting to give the sense of a bit of volume that we need and the better we take the time to do this and keep making changes like turning around and looking from all the different angles it's going to look way much more beautiful I kind of want to make some changes maybe on the main hair card. Maybe a bit slanted like this. I'm 
like uh, don't give it uh, too much of a tilt and again this varies from uh, different hairstyles to hairstyles Offset mode and now you can see like how much of the volume we have created on just one this single strand and uh, you can like kind of give more time on this and make it even more beautiful and like if I had to hide this and show you with what I did with mine like you can see how these are playing and I took a lot of time for doing this it's not uh, like done in 10 minutes or such kind of thing like you can see a single strand on this hair card like A01 see <clears throat> like especially on the uh, tip of the hair cards tip of the hair chunk it's really well spread it out and has that really nice good curve going on and uh, one there's there's one good trick on Maya that we can press 7 on your keyboard to see the actual silhouette mode and how the hair cards that we have just laid out are playing on the silhouette okay so you can carry on with yours uh, and uh, do the rest of this this kind of, kind of the same process for all the hair cards and uh, uh, in the next video we'll uh, look into the process for uh, mirroring the hair cards that we did on the left side to the right side okay thanks